hot tub. I'm catching a cold waiting here. I don't know what the big deal is about them knowing about us. Jeez. Shit, girl. Why didn't you remind me? What? You kidding? No big thing, friend. Just get out and open it. Shut up, stupid. I don't wanna. Crazy is what you are. Wait a minute. Hello? Sheila. Sheila? Jesus, you're calling long distance, huh? What do you want, Frank? I want you to open the shed door. I forgot. What? You do it, Frank. And I'm dressed to be out here. You do it, damn I don't it. know where the key is. I had a hard night. You do oh, it. Just, you do You fucking do it. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> That cellular phone, he thinks his what's his name on Hawaii 5 0. Frank's kind of rough to work for, huh? He's a cheap, obnoxious bastard. So, Stretch, I think you're finished for now. I'll stock the coolers. <laughs> no, that, that, that's too hard for you. Oh, I did it a million times already. Enough the creeps making you clean out his shed. You should be paid. Wait. You hear music playing around here? You hear anything? At the oddest times. Real thing. Come here, quick, quick. They're bringing the old girl out. <laughs> Yippee! Bullseye. Oh, I'll never grow tired of watching that. It picks me up the whole day. Look at the patience of the daughter as she cleans her off. My God, I think I'd let the daft old thing wear the porridge. Ruthie, make us disappear. Now. No, it's okay. He can't see us unless I want him to.
Hello? Hello? Okay, whoever you are, breathe away. Fuck you. Solo, too. I scored some pretty good shit, though. I like this chair. I could give this to Marty. Well, who's Marty? He's my landlord. Miss Shanks can suit. She must have seen him around. Oh, man. You don't mean that beep up jazz boat dude. It looks like he sleeps in his clothes. With two-tone shoes and shit? Yeah, that's him. Well, I see him around. He always he looks like he's in a bad mood or something. Well, I don't know him that good yet. I don't know. I think he's sort of... I don't know. So you gonna take the chair? Yeah. All right. I hope you carry it home. Probably still sleeping. He's don't wake up till late. Hey, uh, Marty's kind of a wacko. I seen him. Shh. Well, you don't like this tie? 
Oh, I like this time. Yeah, you want some nutrition, Dolphy? Yeah, me too. Oh, Christ, man, I'm so tired. I could go right back to sleep. Martin, are you just waking up? Uh, uh, yeah. Hi there, Mrs. Cleary. I thought if this was the tenth anniversary of your father's death, I might have seen you at Mass this morning. Yeah, well, I thought about it last night, you know, but I must have fallen asleep. I'll, I'll drop by later, light a candle. I lit one on your behalf, and mine. Well, you think of everything, don't you, Mrs. Cleary? Everyone's gone, eh? Everyone's passed on. My Jack, your Ma and Dad, so many others. I suppose I'm dwelling on their memories, on them, too much. No, not at all. Not at all. They haven't entirely gone, either. I know that. I feel that. Does that seem crazy to you? Well, you're asking the wrong person about crazy, but no, I don't think so. Martin, I feel I should say something on behalf of your folks. What's become of you of late, eh? You sleep all day and night. You have the look of a lost child. And when was the last time he was out of the house? It's not good. You're not all that fond of the world, are you? Not fond? No, no, not at all. Well, not all that fond, I guess. But you know how it is. You don't have a lot of money. Not very good at making friends. Playing the kind of music nobody oh wants. Look at the time. It's half past twelve. My sister will be here soon. She's taking me out to that mall in Westlake. Twelve thirty. Fuck, I got a piano student coming in half an hour. I, I gotta move this chair. Yeah, it's open. Hey, Pops. Hey, Tony. How you doing, man? Hope you carved out a little time for some practice. Sure, I tried anyway. I feel pretty copacetic about my jobs. And that mug that you gave me, man, I never heard such crazy sounds. <laughs> no shit. Okay, 
Now I'm going to play the left hand. You just throw it down with your right. Okay? Stay with me. Concentrate. And. to go yet, Tony. You gotta practice first. Then we'll see about Cecil Taylor. Okay. Catch you later. Sure, thank you. Catch, Catch you. Okay, it'll be ready for Cecil Taylor same day I do an album for Blue Note. Hey, Dolphy.
There's no one here. This has got anything to do with something I, I, I might have said about about Woody Herman. <laughs> I, 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 take it, I take it all back, man. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean it, okay? What's the matter? <laughs> Mind got a little vacation here, Mori? See anything spooky, Dolphy? <laughs> Dolphy. I think we got company. <laughs> Too loud, 
Peekaboo from hell. You're a child, right? You look like a mushroom. And you're dead or what? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And what about your friend? Just here. I must be completely nuts. I'm completely gone this time. Or I'm still asleep, right? All right. All right, do what you want. Go ahead, do whatever you want. Well, you're dead, right? Yes. We are. We are. Oh, dead. Great. That's just great. Oh, get away, get away from me! You guys give off one hell of a chill, you know that? The two of you. Sorry. Do you remember me, Marty? I think you were in my dream. But I forget your name. The details. I'm Lily. This little one here is Ruthie. But you wouldn't know her. Remembering now. Yeah. Over at the Rose of Erin. Lily. You had life enough in you for three people. I had some good times in that bar of yours. But it's a long time ago now. Words, no name, never. No name, never, no more. <laughs> Pack that chair up in little pieces with a chainsaw. Hmm. I never thought of that. I don't know. Do you think it matters if the chair is together or apart? Cut it to pieces if you like. Make it easier for us to go for walks with it any time we want. But the chair was a... like a kind of a gift, you know? We can pull it apart now and put it back together again later. And we could wear pieces on our heads.
Hi, Mrs. Cleary. I'll explain to you what I know of Ruthie's story, if you like. No, 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 let me guess. She's the spawn of the devil. <laughs> See, this chair we've got, she died in it long ago. Her family ran a milliner's shop in the Mabel Road. They did embroidery for rich folks. They came from some other country, I don't recall. Some place where they talk strange and drink thick coffee and wear bandanas on their heads. Bananas on their heads? Anyway, she died of a fever. And years later, I spied the chair in a jumble shop and bought it, not knowing she was locked up in it somehow. She was alone a terrible long time. And then I died, and here we are. Does that make any sense? No, not really. God, what am I seeing? You're seeing as I do, Marty, as a ghost does, as a ghost does. There's the guys from the Harris Ironworks. God, there's my Aunt Opal.
Tom? It's Tom Malley. Oh, it's Jesus, Tom. sick. It's hard enough thinking about even being reminded of these folks without having to see them. I had a dream like this once. In fact, a number of times. About all the people I've lost. Big as you would. But in my dream, the bodies of the dead were all stacked up like cords of firewood. Stacked quayside by the cranes in the docks. Around the steps of churches. That could be true as well, Mart. I have no idea. Here goes Cap Dolan and Mr. Zabo. Old drinking pals of my dad's. Used to be one of my dad's favorite drinking places. Wait a minute. Wow. It's my father. Dead as the others, huh? You guys! Like 
scared the hell out of me. Sheila, hello. You okay, man? You look awful. Come on, let me buy you a drink. No, 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 I don't want a drink. I gotta get these pieces home. I gotta get home. I'll help you. You will? You walk with me a bit? I'm feeling kind of, you know, out to lunch. Yeah, you do look a little discombobulated. What the hell have you done to my present? Hey, Marty. See, you finally got yourself a girlfriend. Good for you, man. Hey, Marty. Where'd you find those shoes? How far did you have to chase a nigger to get those shoes? This town's full of assholes. What am I doing here? Hey, you're a couple of assholes, you know that? Oh, yeah? Yeah! Come on, Marty. Come on, let's get out of here. These are the pieces of that chair you gave me. Yeah. Notice. It was a nice chair. Thanks. I guess. Okay, man. You're breaking my heart, you look so blue. I've seen ghosts, Sheila. Two of them. Spirits as real as you or me. They're around here someplace. Saw a lot of dead people. At least I think I did. Oh. Let me get you a drink. You, you got anything to drink around here? Drink, yeah. Oh, over there. So? So what? So what about the chair? And the whatevers? Oh, I don't believe in ghosts or UFOs or voodoo or any of that kind of crap. What? Why don't you just describe to me exactly what happened? I don't know what happened. I guess I must have just crossed the line to the other side. Shit, I'm getting out of here. 
Sheila, where exactly did you get that chair? I'm sorry, Marty. I just wanted to give you a present, all right? I don't understand. What are the girls got to do with the chair? Well, they did explain it to me, but I, I didn't completely get it. They talked to you? You drink all that gin in one gulp, you'll puke. No, I won't. Just give me a break, okay? Did we really just see what we just saw? I guess so, yeah. And you're not scared shitless? Yeah, I am, but then I'm not. What am I gonna do? I don't know. I got no idea. I mean, do they come up to my place or do they stay mostly down here with you? How am I supposed to know that? They only just relocated. Well, how do we know they won't hurt us? I mean, how big do they get? Well, one of them's a woman, you know, and the other one's a, a little girl. Yeah, I know that. Well, now what do we do? Mister, Mr. and Lady, come inside. Lily's playing. to the Rose of Erin pub. You delivered us from that bloody shack. Yes, see me. But come to me, Danny, my Danny. Say you love me, if dead I well may be. You'll come and find the place where I am. songs but as I grow older this isn't a fucking concert you know it's an attempt at a sing song so sing or whistle or do something go fetch yourselves a pair of drinks I'd have one but I'm off the stuff permanently yeah why's that because I'm dead you fucking idiot give us a tune Marty yeah come on Marty give us a tune Go on. It'd be good for you. Way down in a working town, they're the boys you might find. Some happy and some sad, and some drunk all around. If the breeze is blowing in from home, and the door is shaking in the wind. That's when the boys will sing to the rose of Erin. She waited for the new railroad, rode all night to get into town. Like she remembered something. Kind of a moody spook. Oh, fuck, I should have sung a different song. She had a pretty fucked up life. Her husband was the guy you work for now. I mean, Frank? Asshole Frank? Yeah. Asshole Frank. She's beautiful. What was she doing with a bonehead like Frank? Do you, you know from before, from when she was living? Oh, yeah. 
Back years ago, I used to drink at the Rose of Aaron. She waited tables there. We became friends. I used to drink. We used to talk. Then I went away. My dad wanted me to work on the boats, but I said, no way. I went to Frisco for a while, hung out, played the clubs, trying to make a living. A couple of years later, I came back, and Lily was completely different. She wasn't even talking. Frank used to beat her up. Mm. Slammed her upside the head once too often. Mm. I can believe that. Bastard. This is really fucking up my head. I'll take it easy. I don't know. I don't know. Marty? Marty? Hello? You there? I gotta go. Oh. Shh, quiet. Don't be afraid. My name's Lily. This is Ruthie. We won't hurt you. Okay, okay, just hold that. Don't come any closer. Do we make you feel cold? Should we move back? No, and... I don't feel cold. I feel nuts and scared. You're doing fine. You're taking all this very well. I guess girls don't feel cold. You know, Sheila, there's so much I want to know about our bar. I've heard men in the back lot saying the most amazing things. It's true he doesn't have Irish music no more at weekends, isn't it? No, I'm afraid not. Not by a long shot. Stay a while. Talk. You can be here, lady. about you and Sheila I like the idea listen Marty Lily and I've been talking we got to get this chair back to the bar and we better hurry because I should have been back at work a long time ago I got to worry about. Everybody we're hanging out with is dead. Wait, I don't want to go in there and see that bastard. Well, I got no choice. I gotta go in. It's up to you. Be a big help to Lily and to me. that chair doing there? I want it gone. We're taking it to be repaired of a friend of Marty's. What do you want, pal? Marty, is it? You want a beer? Yeah. Want a glass? All right. 
I've been here in a long time. Yeah, the last time was right after Jack Marinin's week. You're a son, aren't you? Yeah. You got a good memory. I admired your old man. He was the last of a dying breed. That old rascal was a drinker and a stinker, yep. Yep. You know one thing I liked about Jack? No one ever made him do anything he didn't want to do. He didn't take any shit from anybody. Not his boss, not his wife. You know what he told me once? He said, the only thing I never cheated on was my taxes. <laughs> he never made enough money to pay his tax. <laughs> Fucking bum. I feel kind of a cold breeze. It's the wind whistling through your ears. Hey, Frankie, I'm still waiting for that Singapore sling. You know, your old man was as Irish as Paddy's Peak. How come you look so much like a Dago? Say, Frank, I was remembering something the other day. I remembered your wife. Yeah, Lily, I don't talk about her much anymore. Your wife? Excuse me for asking, Frank, but what exactly happened to her? Lily was sick a long, long time. I did everything a man could do to help her. She's been dead 15 years. You know, she left me alone with this place. There were hard times. I'm trying to make a better life for myself now. Sheila, get your ass up here. You were supposed to start an hour ago. Threw a goddamn glass. And it came from this table because I saw it. And there ain't nobody here except you, asshole. Nobody threw a glass, Frank. The glass fell off the shelf and hit the, the thing there and broke. Shut the fuck up. Get up, you creep. I didn't throw anything, man. Come on. You're begging for trouble, Frank. Oh, yeah? Get over yourself, Frank. I saw and nobody threw a glass.
Jesus, what's the matter with her? She looks awful. Hey, Ruthie. What's happening to Lily? You guys have to help us. You have to help Lily, okay? What should we do? I'm supposed to take care of Lily, and you're supposed to help us. Okay, sure. I was hiding from bad ghosts. See, I was all curled up like a little ball. I was over there. And over here is where he killed Lily. That big guy, Frank. He just smashed in here one day from inside the bar. Lily was just sitting. She was sitting and rocking. So then, he picked her up and just hit her. Bam! And he hit her again. And she fell down. There. She hit her head. She was making big things of blood from her head. And she pulled herself up on the chair. And then she was quiet. And dead. Sitting there. You saw this happen? Yeah. I was here. With the chair. You were the chair? Yeah. My chair. Lily's my friend. Hey, what'd you do that for? Frank can see the light in here and come and find us. Well, we should call the police. No, no, not the cops yet, no. They'll not, not to believe you. It was too long ago. You know, Frank reminds me of a sadistic gym teacher used to pick on me and Eddie Flood in fifth grade. What? I always wanted to squash that fucker. I'm certain there's an old wood stove vent in the wall behind these boxes. He was fun to hide in cash here. I can't feel a thing up here. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna choke on this shit. We should feel a cord or a hunk of twine. Keep going.
fucking look at that. Leave it to Frank. Always crime broke. Doesn't pay me for weeks, the murdering slobbo. drink or something. Shoot you! Come here, okay, Mr. Marty? Come here and sit with me, okay? It's okay.
Hey, you want to calm down, Frank? Try and center yourself. Hey, think about a waterfall. Shut the fuck up, goddammit! Sheila, Marty, take the chair and go. Quick, quick, I'll meet you. Great time, huh? Now it's time to scram. We gotta take this car. We do? Really? Okay. Oh. What's up? It's okay, sport. We're just gonna borrow the car, then we'll take you home. It's no problem. Goddamn mind, Frank. What's got into you here? Lily's here. She's got the money. She's back. She's dead, Frank. No, no, I thought I killed her, but she's. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. No, nothing. Ah, oh, that was just grand. Well done, fellas. Well done. I lived under the fist of that monster for ten years. Why, I'll never know. Mostly to protect Kathleen. I wonder, where does she live now? It's only a chance, but... I once heard two old geezers mention she married a boy from the south side. Name of Mayorosh. Stephen Mayorosh. I'll call telephone information, see if they're listed. Yeah, it's worth a try. I want you and Sheila to take half that money for yourselves. No, 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 I couldn't do that. Well, you'd better do it, or I'll haunt you for the rest of your days. But you would? Yeah, but not as I am now. I'd be a frail, sickly thing with a screeching voice. A spook that never got her own way. There's a senior and a junior. Must be the junior, right? Money in the mailbox?
This is fine. Now, you go. Go up. Thank you very much. Pleasure. they went to the wrong place. Oh. I can't move my neck too good. Jesus, what's the matter? Don't you like to be touched? What? Uh, no, 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 it's not that. It's... Well, it's been a long time. Well, how long? Months? Couple of months? Year? A long time. We better go home. Unless you want to fly straight to Vegas and spend this money. I don't know. I'm really tired. Well, you know, for once I'm not. I don't ever want to go back to my place again. Well, take me to my place then. Big difference. You haven't been there since I fixed it up. It's clean. There's flowers and food and fresh sheets. When was the last time you slept between fresh sheets? Long time. Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it This society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy, I need some silence Please, you're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface It makes me nervous, it's the world honestly burning That's all I'm learning that we can make a turn and start reversing 
listen All our minds they put the work in We got some work, man Life is a nuisance, tie up some loose ends I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, we made it like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot, Michael J. Wayne No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin Never get lost when thoughts pull you in I miss the old you, we died with the purpose All the energy around me felt nervous Scared I would pop out fast at the surface Had to cut it off before you made me worthless Torn apart, I've been torn as God I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart I'm keeping up my guard, I'm hiding every card I wrote a flush of love, you never know what's hard With a back to the Mac, and I see where I'm at I'ma fight like I'm mad, I'ma be something that They can never be me, nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while they stay salty Find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you I know the time